Hey friends, it's Jessie. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to my Pan Those Eyeshadows update. I have a pretty exciting update for my Pan Those Eyeshadows project. I made a ton of progress and I also had a bonus pan, so let's get into it. I do want to share my bonus pan first. So the bonus pan I hit comes from my Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette. And the shade I managed to hit pan in is actually Hot Spot right here. It is this really pretty creamy white shade. It has like a hint of pink to it. I actually waited to share this pan before I continued to use it because I actually hit like a duo pan. It looks like little little two pans in there so I thought this was pretty exciting I did want to share this I've been using this to set my eyeshadow primer I set my primer with a white or cream shade nearly every single day I am pretty fair so I don't really have an issue with shades not showing up on my skin but I like to have something to make them a little bit more vibrant and true to tone so that is the shade I've been reaching into and now that I've shared my really cool duo pan let's get into the rest of the project I did want to address something real quick. I had somebody comment, I think, on my Star Wars and ColourPop video asking if that palette would be in my pan, those eyeshadows rotations. I did want to just let everybody know that anytime I order a new palette, I of course always put it into my spreadsheet as soon as I get it. So from the minute it arrives home, it is definitely eligible for the project, which is why sometimes we've seen brand new palettes being rolled into my project. So the first shade I want to share is actually Wind from my ColourPop Frozen 2 on a palette. It is this beautiful mustardy neutral matte shade up at the top. I have used this one a total of 10 times this month for a grand total of 44 uses total. I did roll this one into my project last year and I made quite a bit of progress on it. I rolled it out around like the 30 use mark and then I re-rolled this shade in this year when I started my project back up in 2022. So I'm at that point now at 44 uses where you can actually kind of maybe see a dip going on. It has been a very much work in progress trying to hit pan on this shade. I've been using it primarily as a crease shade or a transition shade when I'm doing neutral looks and I really enjoy this shade. I took a break from it last year but now I'm kind of taking it personally that I haven't hit pan on it yet so I am trying and determined to hit pan on this before I roll it out completely. I've been using it in conjunction a lot with this bottom shade, Charades, and I normally pair it with just like a light neutral on the top. I've been using this one a lot recently. What is this? This is Fearless. I've been using Fearless as like a lid shade and just doing like an all matte neutral look. And I really enjoyed that. So this one is going to stay in. The second shade I want to talk about comes from my Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. And the shade that I've selected out of this palette is Blackheart, which is this really pretty deep plummy matte has a little bit of a sparkle. I'm not sure what you'd call that, like a sequence shadow then. As you can see, I have a line going on in this shadow. I've been using this on an angled eyeliner brush or a flat angled shadow brush and using it primarily as a full liner. That's how I'm doing it today in my minimal makeup. I've been using this one nearly every single day. So I've used this one 22 times since rolling it in. I didn't take it with me to California, but I've been using it in every single look since I've been home. And I really like this shadow. My only issue with this shadow is, like I said, it's been 22 uses. I did try and pan a shade similar to this one out of my Gingerbread Spice or Cinnamon Roll palette last year. And it took me, I want to say, close to 70 uses to hit pan. So because of that, I have decided to roll this one out. I've really enjoyed using it, but I don't think it is worth keeping in if I'm not going to be able to hit pan anytime soon as I have other shades that have been in the project for a while that I'm still working on like wind and I just want to keep this project fresh for myself. The next shadow comes from my Natasha Denona Love palette and the shadow I've been working on is the shade Giving which is this really pretty pinky shimmer shade. I actually have a really big dip in this shade. I'm very proud of that. I took this palette with me to California when we went for a couple weeks and I used this shade nearly every single day we were there. So I have used this shade 17 times since rolling it in last update and I would say a good solid 10 of those at least were from the California trip. I used this primarily as a lid shade every single day that we were there and I also combined it a lot with my Charlotte Tilbury Walk of No Shame quad. I really liked that. I have noticed that this shadow doesn't work super good when you spray the brush with setting spray. It worked good for a little while. It hits hard pan if I get it a little too wet and I've found that using it on a dry shimmer brush or my fingers. 
As I was saying, I am going to continue to work on giving. I do think there is a potential for me to hit pan by next update. I am focusing mainly on wind right now. I want to get that one out, but I think I could hit pan on this. So I am going to keep this one in the project for another rotation. The next shade, it comes from my ColourPop Hocus Pocus palette. And the shade I've been working on is Hello Salem, which is this really pretty matte mauve up at the top. I have used this one a total of eight times this month for a grand total of 13 uses. When I was back from California, I did use this one a lot with Giving, which was the last shade we looked at. I think it's a really pretty shadow. I use it primarily as a crease in transition shade like I do Wind, and so for that reason, I haven't made a ton of progress on it because Wind has been my priority shade, but I do think I'm finally at the point where if you squint hard enough and you look at it just right, you can see a little dip in there. So I'm gonna count that as pretty good progress. I do like the all pink looks I've been doing, the berry looks and all of that. So I am going to keep this one in for another rotation. And I, I've been enjoying that one a lot. The next shadow I've been working on comes from my Melt Beetlejuice Recently Deceased palette. And the shade I've been working on is Lost Souls right at the bottom. It is this really pretty royal purple matte. I have used this one a total of two times this month for a grand total of four uses since rolling it into the project. I haven't made a ton of progress on it. It is a very vibrant shade and it's not that I don't like colorful looks because I really do like colorful looks, but I do have primarily neutrals in both this project and my A to Z project pan right now. And because of that, I feel like I've been gravitating more towards neutral looks just to try and roll some of those shadows out. I have used this once for an all purpley look and I've also used it as an outer corner deepening shade and I really like it. I am going to keep it into the project a little bit longer and hopefully make some more progress on it. It is so pigmented. I don't think this is one I'm gonna hit pan before I roll out. I think I'm gonna hit the 20 uses or three month mark and then roll it out, but it has been fun to have an excuse to play with that palette some more. And the last shade in my current rotation comes from my ColourPop Lush Life palette. And the shade I've been working on is Monsoon down at the bottom here. It is this really pretty royal matte blue. I've only used this one two times since rolling it into this update. And both times I used it, I did use it as a lower lash line liner with some neutral look. So I did like a neutral with a pop of blue liner. And I really liked it. I was channeling my inner 2017, 2016 vibes and it was a lot of fun. I am going to keep this one in the project and hopefully make some more progress on it. But that is, I think, the last shadow. Because we are rolling my Naked 3 palette out, we do have one opening for a new shade. I have my laptop here and we are going to go ahead and randomize one new number. Okay, and the number we got is 1825 and I honestly have no idea what brand or type of shade this is. I'm hoping it's something not crazy. 1825 comes from my Natasha Denona Love Palette. This is perfect. It's already a palette in my rotation and the shade I chose is Transparent, which is this top shimmer shade. I think this makes a best inner corner highlight. I hadn't used this prior to our California trip and as you can see I've used it quite a few times as my inner corner and brow bone highlight. I think this will be such a good shade to add to my repertoire. So this is the overall color story we are working with. I feel like it is very neutral with a pop of purple and blue but I'm not mad at our shade selection. I'm very excited about this palette actually. This is eventually going to be my most used palette, just watch. That is all for today's update, friends. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me know what you think of the new office space and the new background. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with all of this, but let me know what shades you guys are currently working on. I would love to know, and I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye, friends.